So we decided to focus on the last two bodies of work by Mira Shandol in this exhibition, uh, bodies of work that she showed uh, shortly before, de uh, before her death in 1988 with a series called Sarafos and another series called White and Black, uh, Brancos e Petros. You have behind me one of these paintings from 1985. Uh, the Sarafos were made in 1988. Um, these works are assembled because I felt, uh, we felt very strong about uh, showing that aspect of Mira. She's often perceived uh, and, and known for works on paper. Um, and we have showed extensively the works on paper now throughout our three exhibitions in New York and in London previously. So this was a way to kind of um, prove and demonstrate at least that uh, she could work in very strong manner. Uh, the Sarafos are uh, composed like painting, but with this kind of protuberance, this kind of geometric form coming out of the canvas made of wood, uh, which also express um, sort of violence, uh, sort of a rebellious act on our part, and uh, an attempt throughout our career of always combining uh, three-dimensional works with uh, flat works, sculpture, painting, drawing, how to uh, resolve that, and I think with this body of work, she managed to do that. Então, e a, a, o primeiro passo da confecção destas obras, das duas séries que foram feitas relativamente simultaneamente, a, a das linhas começou primeiro, dos brancos e pretos, e depois ela começou os sarrafos. E Ambas as séries são extremamente matéricas. Se você observa nas laterais, você vê uma grande superfície de matéria. E essa matéria tinha que ser, ela dizia, como, como a superfície da lua, como nós enxergamos a lua, com aquelas crateras, ou como uma pele com espinhas. Tinha que ter esses buracos, mas eles tinham que ser sutis. She is an interesting and most interesting modernist um, in a very classical way. She comes out of the neo-concrete and concrete movement in Brazil that started in the early 50s, um, where people like Elio Oitisica, Ligia Clark, many others, Ivan Serpa, who was the soul of the movement in Rio, uh, Ligia Pape that Hauser and Verso also represents, but she steps away from that tradition very quickly and tried to develop her own language. She was much more of a, a lyricist, in a way, of a poet uh, in comparison to the other ones. Um, and she, very, she was not isolated at all because she was always in touch with physicists, with philosophers, with writers, with poets, uh, especially Umberto de Campos. Um, but she was not so much part of the dialogue, the strong dialogue that was going on, for example, between Ligia Papi. Um, so she stepped out of this uh, more formalist approach to modernism and the leftover or uh, the, 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 the teaching of the uh, constructivism, which is, and the, and which is very, so recurrent in South America, especially in Brazil. Eu acho que incomodava a questão de tomar partido ou de ser de um grupo ou de ser do outro. E ela, ela ficou um pouco afastada dessa questão. Ela não se encaixava, ela não queria se encaixar. Ela sempre dizia que, que essa tendência de se encaixar, que ela não queria fazer parte de igreja alguma. Ela chamava isso essas igrejinhas. Que ela, não queria, ela não queria ser concreta ou neoconcreta ou minimalista ou isto ou aquilo. Ela era uma pessoa, ela queria ser livre. <música> 